Hi, I'm Greg Phelps. I'm a professional photographer. I'm in Brownsville, Texas, and I also have uh, offices in Houston, Texas. And I'm really excited about the new Hasselblad H4D. This thing is a terrific camera, and it better be because I ordered it in April of 2010, and I finally got it in January of 2011. But it was really worth the wait. No kidding, guys. This camera is really built. The controls are very nicely put together. Uh, they're situated where you can reach them and uh, use them very quickly. It takes you practically no time at all to learn the menu system to be able to set it up and use it. And of course, the file quality is just stupendous. I, I love it. It is, it is really cool for the type of work I do. Because I specialize in architecture, fine art, uh, legacy portraits, and uh, a good portion of my time is working with other photographers, helping them to get their businesses up and running to where they can really be making a nice income from it. The, uh, one of the wonderful things that Hasselblad has done with this is the true focus feature. That is really cool. Um, you go ahead and you focus on like a person's eye, if you're doing a, a fashion photo or a portrait or something, and you press the uh, focus, uh, the true focus button on the camera, and the focus will lock in on that point. Now, from that point on, you can go ahead and not have to worry so much about focus. You can recompose, you can turn the camera, tilt the camera up, tilt the camera down, swing it horizontally to put the person in different places on, in the viewfinder, and it really zeroes in on that focus and just holds it there for you. And so that works really, really cool. That is, that is wonderful. The uh, focus software provided by Hasselblad is really good too because built into the software, when you download your images and when you're looking at them in, it automatically cor corrects and gives you all the lens corrections that you need regardless of whatever Hasselblad lens you're using, whether it be a extreme wide angle all the way to the 28 millimeter, which I use a lot in my architectural photography, uh, all the way up to the 300, which I use in some of my portrait work. So that software is really cool too. Uh, because of the super high resolution of the chip, uh, Moray has almost become a thing of the past. It's not really something that uh, we have to be concerned with anymore. But if a little should happen to uh, creep in, the automatic Moray correction in the uh, Focus software is tremendous. I mean, it just it takes care of it automatically. So when you export your your file to uh, to a TIFF, so that you can uh, work on it in Photoshop or whatever you want to do, uh, all of those kinds of things are are taken care of. It's really neat. The only little bug that uh, Hasselblad has, and I hope some of you Hasselblad uh, people are listening to this because it is kind of a pain, and that is when you're shooting tethered and I shoot tethered probably 90% of the time uh, with the work that I do. After you've made a few photographs, the, uh, either the transmission of the data or something, it kind of gets kaflugi and it just kind of locks up on you and you're dead in the water. And the only way to get around it is you've got to unplug the camera, shut the computer or shut the software down, shut the computer down, restart everything from scratch and of course that takes time and if you have an art director standing there looking over your shoulder or you've got clients that are waiting to uh, see from you then you know that's not that's not pleasant but when you're shooting to a flash card or if you're shooting to the image bank I mean you can shoot quite uh, rapidly uh, with the with the camera and it works great but Hasselblad you got to get this uh, software thing uh, fix so that we don't have this problem when you're shooting tethered. Okay, well I guess that's it for our first uh, video. We've got another one that we're going to be posting right away which is going into the trials and tribulations as well as the joys of shooting tethered. So I hope you'll join us for that. Uh, in the meantime, if you're uh, more interested in my photography or what I have to offer as far as uh, consulting and uh, coaching services, feel free to click in on my blog, which is uh, gregstake.wordpress.com. But uh, in the meantime, we will um, see you next time. Bye for now.